Our sixth weekend away was at Murphy's Point Provincial Park. Take the next left, then turn left. This was also the beginning of my vacation and a week-long Provincial Park spree. Turn left, then your destination will be on the right. I chose this one because it is the closest park to home and I could get a quick start to my week off. It was also the first park where we would be breaking in the new van. I wasn't able to take possession of the van until 4.30, so we quickly threw everything in the van and headed off thinking we could just work it all out at the site. My need to rush though backfired as we pulled into our site and it began to pour. This shouldn't have been a big deal as there's plenty of room now in the back, but because I had just thrown everything in, I needed to get all the outdoor stuff out onto the picnic table so we could hunker down inside. I had also forgotten my windscreen covers so we could not open the windows for the airflow and it was so hot. We put both fans on us and tried to get some sleep. The next morning we woke up early to start getting things to dry and organize. I emptied the van and then put everything back in a more organized fashion. It was not all work though, because Bo needed to play. So we set out for a hike and made sure to play in the dog beach area a few times as well. I do have a tendency towards rushing into and through things so much. When I got it, in my head that we needed more space, I set out to get it and rush the process so we would have it for this week's long trip. This meant that I didn't have the van to set up properly or measure so I could get all the best fitting, th fitting things for it. I bought a lot of solutions that just didn't fit the van or our style of camping. But we made it work for this trip and over the next few months we would reconfigure many times. We didn't have so much of a relaxing time or get to enjoy the park as much as we could have because of this. So Murphy's Point is where I learned that I need to sometimes let go of my desires for things to be complete and practice patience in the process of working things out instead. Rushing and impulsivity can and often does get me into challenging situations that I just didn't need to be in. So if I can just learn to stop, assess, wait and proceed at a slower pace i can maybe forgo some of the difficulties and stresses that i don't need to <laughs> 